BFIT Nation. Welcome back to another Motivational Monday, a special Monday with us, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes here and Team Rest Sergeant Sonny Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? Hey, good morning. You doing good? <laughs> good morning. Good morning to all of you all as well. Thank you so much for joining. If this is new to your program or new to this program, uh, welcome. Get settled in. This is our chance to really focus on um, special, a special strength and resistance program workout for today. We have four different movements that we're going to tackle for today. But as we get settled in, as we get started, um, again, Beef It Live program workouts. This is where we get to really focus on our form, on building a nice solid foundation for anything that we have to tackle throughout this week, throughout any of our goals. Uh, we're here with our Beef It program to help you reach those goals uh, in a safely but fun manner here with our Beef It Live program workout. Uh, first off, we haven't. Well, sorry, Barry, you haven't uh, been here in a few weeks, so I'm really excited to have you back in the gym today. I'm excited to be back, but I'm going to warn you, I'm kind of sore already, so yeah. take it easy, a little bit. <clears throat> and I and I like to think, uh, you know, sometimes getting started is the hardest part, right? Sure. So uh, we're really going to kind of dive in comfortably, but in a controlled form format, because uh, again, we're working on resistance for today, so we like to keep our form, our breath control, our, our cadence, things like that, uh, in a nice controlled form. So uh, it'll, be, it'll be good. It'll be good for us. Okay. We got this. <laughs> we got this. We got this. All right, team. So uh, real quick, before we dive in, I'd like to give a quick shout out over to uh, the exchange, all my exchange family at Fort Detrick. I was there this past weekend, uh, especially our uh, MWR counterparts as well. So a big shout out to the exchange over at Fort Detrick and um, <clears throat> our MWR family over there. Uh, they had a health and wellness expo that you all may have seen. If not, scroll down on the Facebook exchange Facebook feed and you'll go ahead and see a live recap uh, from there as well. And shout out to uh, the garrison commanders as well. Uh, it was a great talking with you and I look forward to working with you as well. And so a few different movements that you'll see on today's live workout are really beneficial in training for any specific uh, physical fitness test or ACFT, nice, great foundational movements that we we're going to isolate and tackle for today's movement. So uh, speaking of today's movements, let's give a rundown uh, for the four movements that we have for today, team. All right. So let's start off with movement number one, grabbing some dumbbells here. We are going to go down on the floor here with a glute bridge to a chest press combination. So a glute bridge really focuses on our post here with our hamstrings and glutes activated into a bridge position. We're going to grab a pair of dumbbells and then add in chest press. So some anterior work into our chest press and posterior isolation with a glute bridge. Movement number two, we're looking at a Romanian deadlift plus a row. So a two for one combo on our posterior chain, lower body and upper body chain here, if you will, posterior chain with a Romanian deadlift and a bent over row. So we'll go down into that Romanian deadlift, stand right back up, go back down into that hinge position into a row, and then we'll right back up and we will repeat that sequence. Uh, movement number three is going to be a uh, great combination movement here. We have all upper body movement here with a bicep curl to a press to a tricep extension. All right, team, bicep curl, press, and tricep extension is what we are gonna include for movement number three. And movement number four, we have a four point hold progression. So four point hold, just meaning we are going to come down onto the floor, facing the floor here in a four point stance. Um, timing for today is gonna to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. All right, team, and don't worry, we're gonna go through and demonstrate each of the four movements that way we know exactly what we're gonna tackle for today. Listen for any coaching cues, any tips, any techniques, um, anything to help you execute the movement safely and properly. All right, team? Uh, so starting off here, uh, Sergeant so Barry, do you wanna go ahead and uh, go down? Actually, I'll start with the movement number one. I'll go uh, glute bridge into a chest press. So I'm gonna grab a pair of dumbbells here and I'll call out some movements here. So into that nice, seated position here. Let's make sure that our feet are shoulder width apart. From here, we're gonna raise those hips after we front rack into a seated position here. So, knees all the way back to our neck in a relatively straight line. This allows us to engage our glutes, our hamstrings, and a little bit of our 
back as well. From here, palms face the front of the room. We're gonna drop down onto those elbows nice and comfortably. Tap the floor here, engage our chest, feeling that stretch, and press up all the while our dumbbells are in that chest level position. So down, nice deep breath in, and then squeeze all the way up, leaving some space in between those dumbbells. So chest press is gonna be movement number one. All right, team? Let's go into movement number two here. We're gonna take a pair of dumbbells as well. Sergeant Bear is gonna take a pair of dumbbells, making sure that we have a nice solid foundation so our feet are shoulder width apart, a soft bend at our knees here. From here with this hip hinge movement means we're gonna push those hips back. As those hips come back, our dumbbells are gonna track towards our shin, right over our toes, keeping our chest up and shoulders roll back. You're gonna feel that engagement and that nice strong flat back right there. That's gonna be your Romanian deadlift. Then you're gonna go down into that hinge, same hinge position and we're gonna pull towards our pocket into a nice strong row. And then we're gonna come right back up to standing position. So two for one here, you're gonna feel your stretch in your hamstrings and glutes. We'll stop right there into your RDL, standing right back up. And then we're right back down into a bent over row. So two for one here, RDL and row to complete movement number two. Movement number three, we have a bicep curl overhead press with a tricep extension. So setting yourselves up with a nice solid foundation here, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend in our knees as always, palms facing each other. From here, we're into our bicep curl, hammer curl if you will, into our overhead press. And then from here, we're gonna hinge at our elbows only, bringing our dumbbells towards each other, palms and hands towards each other, if you will. You can see that position right here. And then we're gonna extend right back up, control that movement on the way down, and then back down into your uh, bicep curl or standing position. So we have a bicep curl, overhead press, tricep extension, back out for that full extension, controlling our weight on the way down, and basically, torching our arms for movement number three. All right, team, that's gonna be movement number three. And as we progress on to movement number four, we are speaking of progression, so we are attacking our core. Sorry, Brad, you wanna uh, come down into our four-point stance? All right, so we're gonna build off of our four-point stance. That just means our hands are gonna be stacked underneath our shoulders, our knees are stacked underneath our hips. We're gonna elevate our knees, nice flat back into a tabletop position. All right, team. So round number one, we are looking at shoulder taps. So opposite hand to opposite shoulder. As we control our hips, stay square to the floor and our feet and hands shoulder width apart, okay? That's gonna be our base foundation, that four point stance. That's gonna be movement number one. We can relax right here. And then we will move into a progression as a surprise uh, into rounds two, three, and four. I'll coach us through it, we'll talk us through it. But if at any point you feel that we need to regress a little bit, let's come back to that four point stance and hold that four point stance for the remainder of our time, which is 40 seconds of work. So again, four rounds, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest with a 60 second break after each round. All right, team, those are gonna be the four movements for today. So as you get settled in, find your water, find your towel, we're gonna go ahead and get started with some dynamic stretching. That way we can prepare our bodies uh, prepare us and get us ready to work. That way we don't start off nice and cold. Or if we've been seated for a long period of time, uh, this really helps out opening up our hips since we do have some lower body engagement as well as that hinge position, right? We really, really wanna focus on opening up those hips, hamstrings, quads, uh, mid to upper back, shoulders can really help us throughout today's workout theme. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch. We're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna extend it back to our hips Come this way too. And then we are going to extend up into the left. I see where we're at now. All right. He's held in each of these for as long or as short as you need. Sorry, Barry, we'll come this way actually. Yeah, sorry. There it is. It's and been then... three weeks for me. <laughs> there it is. Left leg is back, right arm is up. Feel that full extension here. Push your hips forward just a little bit. I know it's been a little while for me too. And go ahead and I'll say at your own pace here. It's either uh, as quickly, again, as quickly or as slowly as you need. You know your body best. So really feel and scan your body. See where you may be tight. See where you can open up, get some blood flow into each one of these targeted muscle groups. Don't forget about our breathing. 
Good. Last three, two, one. All right, we're gonna take a nice wide stance here. Our toes are gonna fix forward, so they're gonna be placed forward. From here, we're just gonna shift our weight over to the left and to the right. If you are tight in your hips or hamstrings or inner thighs, this is gonna be a great uh, movement right here. Maybe a little tight at first, but you'll find yourself opening up as our 30 seconds drag on here. <laughs> Keeping that chest up, pushing those hips back can go a long way here. Again, nothing too aggressive here. We're just really looking at the stretch portion of this movement. So stretching out our muscle fibers, opening up our hips, getting some blood flow to the lower body here. Last three, two, one. All right, team, we'll take a step forward to the top of our workout space. From here, we're gonna send one leg back, okay? Right leg goes back into our reverse lunge with an overhead reach. So right arm comes up, right leg goes down into our reverse lunge, and then reaching over, feeling that stretch on your lats, your shoulder, as far as mobility goes. Go ahead and alternate left leg and right leg. Again, as fast or as slow as you may need to work through these movements, feel free, team. Feel free right here. Good. Again, with today's workout, it's all about form, function, resistance, lifting with the purpose here. So getting our bodies ready to work goes a long way here with your performance, right? Setting yourself up for success here. All right, team. Um, standing up tall here, we're gonna find our breath. We're just gonna take some circles here with our arms. So right arm into a large circle. Kind of work that out. You can see your mobility in action here with your nice big circles. Coming into a smaller circle and we will go backwards in three, two, one, starting off small, making our way to a larger circle here. Standing up nice and tall, don't forget that soft bend in our knees, feet shoulder width apart. That good practice goes a long way in each and every movement. All right, team, let's go ahead and switch arms here. Nice large circle here with our left arm to round out our dynamic stretching here. And we'll make our way to a smaller diameter of a circle. Three, two, one, we'll reverse. And here we go, reverse that circle. Good. Nice wide circles here. Last four, three, two, one. All right, team, find your space, find your water. Again, uh, if I didn't mention before, leave us a note, leave us a comment. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know where you're joining from. Uh, Patrick from Cleveland, good to see you in here, Patrick. I hope you enjoy today's workout. Again, if you have a pair of dumbbells, let's focus on our form. Let's focus on our pace and uh, let's get to work. Let's have some fun here. But um, as always, uh, leave us a note. Let us know uh, what you were doing where you're working out from, where you're joining us from today. Let us know uh, what movements you enjoy or are challenging the most for you. All right, team, uh, we will start the clock here. We're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. We have a glute bridge to chest press. That's gonna be our first movement. So we'll start the timer here coming up in 10 seconds. All right, pair of dumbbells. We're gonna find a seat on the floor. We are up in three, two, one. All right, team, find that space into that glute bridge with a chest press. Again, our relatively straight line from our knees down to our necks, engaging our glutes. Nice strong form, nice strong foundation here. Palms facing the front of the room. Nice deep breath in, exhaling on the way up. We have 40 seconds in total to work for each movement. We have 13 seconds left in this specific set. Out in seven, team. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and reset here. Keep it with the pair of dumbbells. We're gonna stand up nice and tall. We have that RDL with a bent over row combination. So 
grabbing our weight here. Again, what we may be able to roll may be a little lighter than our RDL, so keep that in mind here. Feet shoulder width apart, soft fit in our knees. We're gonna go into that RDL, so we're gonna push those hips back. Stopping about mid shin, coming right back up. That's gonna be your RDL. Now we're hinging again, about mid shin once again. Coming up into our row. Again, our elbow should be tucked in a little closer to our torso. So RDL here, nice combination. Good, control our weight, push our hips back. Head is looking down into our row. Good. I like to guide my hands down my quads, down my shins, nice and close to us, down into our hinge. Nice flat back, chest pops out, shoulders roll back. Last three, two, one. Hinge and we're back up. Good job. Yeah, how those feel? Yeah, feels pretty good. I might size up for the next one. Uh, we'll see. Don't worry, we have some weight to work with over here. <laughs> All right, movement number three is going to be our dumbbell curl tricep extension. So, finding a pair of dumbbells here. Remember, set yourself up with nice solid foot placement. Here, bicep curl into our overhead press into a controlled tricep extension. So, hinging only at the elbows. Resetting back into that hammer curl front rack position again, and these can be as quickly or as slowly as you may need to learn the movement first and then progress through each set. Good again with each dumbbell and each arm, really forcing us to stabilize on each specific arm. Two, one, and time. Good job. <laughs> good work team, good work. All right, we're down to that four point progression. All right, four point hold uh, for round number four, or round number one actually. Wow, moving number four. <laughs> yes, <All right>. we're done. <laughs> <laughs> right, all right team. 40 seconds on the clock, we're into that four point hold, okay? If you're here today, hands underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips, Let's hold this four point stance. If you can join Sergeant Barry and myself, we're gonna go into shoulder taps from this four point hold. So right hand to left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder, keeping our knees underneath our hips, keeping our hips square to the floor. We are gonna engage our core, so our navel gets pushed back towards our spine, contracting that stomach. Last five seconds, team. Out in three. Two, one, and time. Right. Good job. Mm -hmm. Rounds fly by here on our BFit Lives. <laughs> All right, so this is the time. Uh, leave us a note. Leave us some in the comments. Let us know how you're doing. Again, this is a chance for you to refocus, recalibrate, see where you are in today's workout, see if you can progress throughout each movement. Maybe it's an increase in pace and tempo, maybe it's an increase in your weight selection, all right, if that's available to you. Let's go ahead and grab some weight here. 28 seconds with resistance training. It is um, a little bit more challenging, right? We wanna try to progress in our weight selection throughout each round. So uh, glute bridges to chest press coming up in 15 seconds, team. Good morning, Julie, good to see you in here. As always, we really enjoy our exchange family and all that join here today. All right, down into that glute bridge position. We are up 40 seconds on the clock. We are rolling back here. Again, a lot of benefits out of this movement specifically, okay? Two for one, we like to maximize the most of our time. So we're working out with that isolation hold into that glute bridge. So our glutes, our hamstrings, our core is engaged. And then we get to work on some chest press as well. Really benefiting the mechanics of a push-up, strengthening that position there all around, full body, last seven seconds. Nice deep breath on the way in. <sighs> Exhaling on the way up, last two, last rep, and you're up. Good job. <laughs> Good work, team. All right, again, round two. We are looking at posterior lower body and posterior upper body with a Romanian deadlift plus a row combination. So grabbing a pair of bells here. 40 on the clock, let's get started team. Again, feet shoulder width apart, soft bend those knees, we're hinging down, coming back up to standing. We're right back down into our 
row. I'm gonna pull towards your pocket here with your row. How's that row? Here we go, here's a row. <laughs> Don't worry. Bent over row to RDL. Good, last 10 seconds here, team. Again, with resistance, we're thinking form, we're thinking control, we're thinking reading our bodies and pressing or pulling into our specific movement. And time, recover here, 20 seconds of rest. <clears throat> I think hamstrings and glutes uh, sometimes are, are overlooked, but are so beneficial, a lot of power, especially when we're sprinting or we are uh, training, whether it's a sprint drag carry or whether it's uh, running in general, a lot of power comes from there. So a lot of benefits into these movements here. Good. All right, again, a bicep curl, neutral grip, palms facing each other, overhead press, tricep extension. Again, this is a great movement to maximize your time. And you can go as quickly or as slowly as you would like. 12 seconds, less than that. Good job, team. Out in five. Out in three, two, last rep here to finish it out. And time, good job. Good work, set those off to the side here. We have that four point progression. So if you are at your four point stance and holding that, perfectly fine. Last round we did shoulder taps. This round, we're gonna go with leg kickback. So we're gonna extend that leg all the way out, out of that four point stance. Here we go, team, 40 on the clock here. You're gonna feel glute activation as well as stabilization challenge and balance challenge because you'll be in three points of contact on the floor. Still keeping with a nice flat back. Our head is looking down in between our hands. Hips are square to the floor. Don't forget about our breathing. Good job. Out in nine. Good. Last four, out in three, two, and one, and time. Whew, I like those. You like those, okay. Tough, but... Yeah, a lot of two for one there. Again, you can really feel the glute activation on that leg kickback. So even if you wanted to regress that into your four point stance, drop to the knee, if you will, and then go into your leg kickback, you can feel that isolation in that left or right side leg kickback on that left or right glute. So really great benefit there, just isolating that specific muscle group. All right, 28 seconds here, hydrating. Smart move here, smart move here. All right, team, again, leave us a comment. Let us know where you're joining from. Let us know where you're watching from, team. This is a great time with 18 seconds left to quickly share this workout with any friends, family members, spouses, coworkers. Let's help keep each other accountable in our health and wellness efforts here. Eight seconds here. We are up in a quick two seconds, setting yourselves up on the floor here, pushing back into that chest press with an added glute bridge. So, some of us may have done a chest press from the floor, which just means our hips are going to be on the floor like mine are right now. And <laughs> I think the added benefit out of the chest press, again, maximizing our time and efficiency into that glute bridge really works our posterior chain here. Our glutes, hamstrings are activated, actively thinking about contracting and time here. Good job. Woo. Good work. Good work. Hardest part is standing up. <laughs> <laughs> Hardest part is standing up here. All right, team. Five seconds to catch our breath. RDL into a row, coming up in two, one. All right, team, remember that foot placement, shoulder width apart. We're gonna hinge into our RDL, pushing those hips back, right back up. Now we're back down into that hinge position. Dumbbells are about mid-shin, back up, good. Nice deep breath in, and we're standing back up here, controlling that hinge, pushing that, those hips back, Remember to keep our head looking down. If you are looking 
at Sergeant Barry and I as a full time. I don't want you to look down at your toes here. Last five seconds. I'll count it out for us. Out of two, one, and time. Good job. <laughs> Movement number two in the books. All right, keeping with our weight here, keeping with a set of dumbbells. We're looking for dumbbells. ShopMyExchange.com has a large selection of dumbbells. We'll take care of you. Up in two, up in one. There it is, team. Bicep curl. Set myself up. Tricep. Overhead press. Tricep extension. Good. All right, team. Nice squeeze at the top. Remember at that front rack position, our wrists. We want to be locked out right over our elbows. It's a nice solid foundation right there. It's going to give you the most support. Now I will say into your tricep extension, try to keep your wrists straight again in line with your elbow. Try not to let them break here. Out in five, out in three, two, finishing with a smile <laughs> and five. Good job. Good work team. All right. Down to core, down to business here with that four point progression. So last round, we added a kickback. All right, this round, we're gonna add in an arm reach only. So out of that four point stance, either you could stay in the four point stance, continue with leg kickbacks, or add in an arm reach. Good, thumbs facing up can really help strengthen yourself all the way through, believe it or not. It's a little bit more strengthening of a movement here. Again, trying to keep our hips down, our back nice and flat. Nice deep breath in before you raise that arm can help out a lot. We're gonna keep our hips at a minimum sway and our head is looking down. Good job. Almost there, team. Stay with us. Last five seconds. Yes, I agree. Out in three, two, one, and time. Good job, that's a good, that's a good round. Round three, again, Beep It Live here, Beep It Ambassadors. Roy Montes here and Senior Master Sergeant Sonny Berry. We are cruising yeah, through cruise. our resistance workout today. It's going fast. <laughs> so, going fast today. Again, leave us a note, let us know where you're joining from. Let us know what your favorite movement is so far. We have 30 seconds, a little bit more, to hydrate, to towel off, to get ready for that last and final round. Because our last round is our best round. Indeed. That's what we like to say here. And we like to make that happen. So, again, nice foundational movements here. No matter our fitness level, we can regress or progress to each of these movements. So, glute bridge into a chest press. 10 seconds. Let's set ourselves up. Last and final time you will see these. I think uh, up in three here, too. One, front rack here. Glutes are up into that glute bridge, pressing. Palms facing away, elbows tucked in. I like to think of our push-up or a chest press as an arrow formation rather than a T formation, right? So try to make an arrow with your elbows on the way down and on the way up rather than a T. You'll find a lot more, a uh, lot less pressure off of your shoulders. 12 seconds here, squeezing at the top, actively engaging our lower body, our posterior chain at the five, Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. Jumping up with the quickness. Some of us. Some of us. <laughs> Some of us. 10 seconds here. Again, an RDO with a bent over row. We're gonna try and pick up our pace for this last and final round. Nice control, stay with your same control, your same form. However, we're gonna get down here. RDL, we're we'll right back up. We're down to our row, nice squeeze at the top, feeling those shoulder blades come together. Good, nice strong hinge position. Activated our hamstring and glutes. Good, down to our RDL, back up to standing. Down to our RDL with a row. Good. RDL, pausing at the bottom if you have it in you. Show that control, a little bit of time under tension here. Five seconds. Out in three, two, and one. Good job. We're dropping the weight here. 
Good work, team. Good work. Stay with us. Hand clap from the audience here and our teammates. Myself. That's great. All right, two dumbbells here, setting ourselves up, feet shoulder width apart. We are up into our bicep curl, overhead press, tricep extension. Good. Good job, team. Nice controlled movements. Again, this can be as fast or as slow, as heavy or as light as our fitness allows us to be today. Keep that chest up. Nice eight seconds left. Finish it out, team. Last three, two, and one, and time. Good job. Find our breath, find our space. Last but not least, we have toe taps to finish us out. So a lot of stretch in our hamstrings. We're gonna reach back to our toes in a pike position. So we're in that four point stance. Join us if you will, 40 on the clock. From here, we're gonna raise those hips up off of our toes. Reach back to our toe, left arm, right arm. Set back down into our four point. Knees never touch the floor. If it's within us today. Good. Into your pike or a downward dog. <laughs> Could be that. Good. Show that control here out in 10 seconds, team. Heels down towards the floor into that pike. Out in five. Last three, two, one, and time. Really wanted to milk that last round. <laughs> All right, team. A bit of applause here. Good job, Sunbury. Yeah, Good job, team, out here in our Facebook BeFit Nation land. Again, if you were uh, just joining us and you were wondering what went on today, we had four movements to really challenge us into today's resistance-based workouts. Uh, our BeFit Lives program workouts to really bring us either a cardio-based workout, a resistance-based workout like you saw today with some dumbbells, or a hybrid of both to challenge us on both, end, both ends of the spectrum. All right, team. Um, again, great work today. We're gonna focus on your form, on the functionality, on these functional movements, and any one of these movements can really be applied from in the gym or in your home setting to outside into your daily active lifestyles, whether we're training for uh, PT tests or ACFT or anything that life throws our way, team. Uh, something. Uh, as far as building strength, working on our strength, working on our health and wellness can add benefits, that can add safety uh, and injury prevention into those everyday lifestyle movements team, okay? Uh, speaking of movements, if you are moving around and you are looking through your exchange, visit us at the exchange in store or online at shopmyexchange.com. We have a lot of different varieties of things that can help you, assist you and leading that active lifestyle from sporting goods to footwear to active wear, fitness trackers to really help dial in your data as far as steps or heart rate or uh, a lot of different features that any specific fitness tracker offers. We have that there at our exchange. If you step outside of the exchange and you go into our mall areas, uh, look for those wellness services that we offer that we provide for you, whether it can be a chiropractic care or cryotherapy and expanding in a lot of installations or some installations. Uh, look for that dental care or optical uh, needs or hair care or dur durable medical equipment that really uh, helps with braces or uh, help assisting in moving in your way of life team. If you look out into the exchange restaurants, right, more than 1,600 restaurants that the exchange offers can offer better for you options team. All right, search for those, uh, search, search through those menus rather, and look for those better for you options, right? Uh, nutrition plays a key component, a key pillar to our active lifestyle. So refueling yourself, um, really just keeping a mindful eye of what we put into our bodies can really be beneficial in jumpstarting or sustaining our active lifestyle, right? Leading us at the top of our performance. And then to help you throughout your days, uh, look for smart snacking options at the Express, right? You're gonna look for a tag that you'll see on screen right now. The Healthier Choices, Healthier Lifestyle tag can really help take the guesswork 
out of more than 400 items at our express stores. Surf through those aisles, look for that tag, and um, get, it help, let us help you get you from point A to point B, from B to C. All right, so everything in between to really help you refuel after today's workout, uh, like the one today. I know Sergeant Barry and myself frequent the express after our workouts to really help dial in our recovery and our refuel needs team. Uh, and also, don't forget, if you have uh, any additional, uh, if you would like any additional information on our BFIT program, on wellness services, on live workouts, on nutrition and gear, head over to shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT or scan the QR code that you see on screen right now. Again, uh, this will take you to the Exchange Hub where we have a wealth of information as well as our full catalog of programmed workouts from our BFIT Live uh, Facebook Live workouts. So you can see those on here. You can see a lot of mindful uh, health and wellness needs from strong band support over to marathon or running support. Again, wellness services. If you are wondering what you may have as far as wellness services go on your installation, then we can look at uh, that wellness page and that'll take you to uh, look for your installation and then I'll take you to uh, whatever you may have on your installation as far as that wellness service page goes. So a lot of good things happening at the hub. Sorry Barry. Uh, I know that's a lot of information for us to tackle over the uh, end of our workout but <laughs> anything from your end uh, as far as today's workout go? What was your favorite movement or a new movement for you that you may have uh, not tried yet but you saw today? Well, so I've always liked the four point yeah. holds, but they've always been challenging. It felt a little easier today, but then yeah. I loved the addition of the kickback. Yeah. That was cool. That was good. That was good. I, like I think what's nice about the four point hold is it's a friendly addition to a plank. Yeah. So let's say uh, you're, you know, like to mix things up, and let's say maybe you're getting a little bit mm, too comfortable with the plank, right? Add in that four point hold, and then add in a few different movements to really kind of progress into that four point hold. Again, challenging you a little bit more in your lower body, your glute activation, um, be mind, be, being mindful of keeping a nice flat back uh, out of that four point progression. So uh, you can scale up and you can regress or progress to the, you know, to the wide variety of options that are out there. Uh, we just covered about four varieties of our four point hold on progressing up, but uh, there's a lot out there that we can tackle in. So. Um, Good call. Yeah. What did you think of the bicep curls to presses to tricep extensions? Oh, they're excellent because you're getting, you know, all the different muscle groups in one mm -hmm. swoop. Is that the right word? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. One flow, one movement. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, just Fluid great motion. time management to, to get everything <laughs> done in condensed time. So right. Really and I think, cool. right. And that's such a, the, the benefit of our BFIT Live workouts is that we're condensing our workouts, condensing our times into that full body workout. Uh, so not all of us have that a lot of time if we're on our lunch break if we're at work right now and we're like man you know Roy I'd really love to get in a movement but I don't know exactly what to do uh, this is your workout this is the workout and if you'd like to extend uh, any uh, if you'd like to extend this was just under a 20 minute active workout but if you'd like to extend this workout even to a little bit more say I need more time uh, than 20 minutes I have you know 40 minutes double into four rounds uh, into eight rounds or or subtract two and go into six rounds in whatever time permits, but uh, a lot of whatever you put in is what you're gonna get out of it, and that's how we're gonna strengthen week by week. So uh, again, we're here, right? The exchange program is here to stay, uh, to help you stay active, to stay ready, and to stay resilient, team. So, any last words, Dr. Ray, before we sign off here? No, well, I already told you, Roy, but I want to tell the rest of the team here is I had my PT test mm -hmm. for the first time in like two years, a couple weeks ago and I did really well. I'm not telling you to glow, I'm telling you to thank you. Thank you, this community has definitely pushed me to work out on days when I didn't feel like it, right? And I'm glad I did and I, I definitely attribute that to this team and of course to Roy, so thank you. No, thank, thank you for, you know, again, showing up, uh, what, you, what you give is what you're going to get out of these programs. So if you can go a little heavier, if you can go a little faster in a lot of these movements, these are great foundational movements that you can apply to not only life setting, but also to uh, your physical fitness tests or, or things of that nature. And it lays a nice solid foundation for your movement patterns and your everyday lifestyle. Yeah. So, uh, and, and not to, I mean, I know Sergeant Barry isn't gloating, but she crushed her physical fitness. I know she doesn't want to <laughs> give you a number, but she crushed it. So I'm really proud of you. I'm really excited for your testing and, and to see you develop over time. So again, then that's what it takes over time. It's that journey, that dedication, that consistency, and that hard work, which you have put in week after week. So that's the reward is the great PT test.
And ice so. cream cake. <laughs> and, and rewarding yourself, absolutely. Absolutely, don't take that away from, from you as well. So on behalf of our Exchange BFIT program, uh, Sergeant Barry, uh, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Barry, and myself, BFIT Ambassador Roy Montes, we are gonna sign off today. We will see you again next Monday at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Be ready because it is a cardio day, so our heart rates are gonna be elevated and we are going to probably sweat like uh, none before. So <laughs> enjoy, until next time team, Roy Montes signing off here.